I go to the movies. Yeah, it's just, it just happened out of nowhere. I was just as surprised as you. But the movie I went to see this time, it was uh, at the Regal. And it is a movie that I had seen a long time ago, but I did not see it in the theater. And uh, it's sort of a updated version of the movie. And it is the Christian movie. And it is the movie called uh, Courageous, the Legacies version. So this is another one of them Kendrick movies. They do the fireproofs and the facing the giants and the wetsits and the whatnots. All those movies. The War Room, that sort of thing. Um, I remember the first time I saw this, it was the first uh, Christian movie I'd seen that genuinely made me laugh. Like, actual laugh. And I laughed again when I saw it this time. And that scene where there's the mix-up about the guy building the shed and, you know, <laughs> he's like, he just happens to call out the guy who has the same name, you know. And he's like, that ain't my friend. His friend's like, that ain't my friend. That's uh, some random guy's at your house. He's like, I thought your name was this. It is. <laughs> you know, it was like that scene. I thought it was really funny. But this movie, like most of their other movies, has some of the same problems. The, the, I'm not sure if it's the performance of the writing, but it just, it seems stilted, you know? It's like, <laughs> and granted, admittedly, they they admit they aren't professionals, you know? They got the, they're doing it for a purpose. <sighs> I, gen I generally don't like Christian movies because it's like, It's, uh, when you go into any sort of art with an agenda of, I'm going to use art to do this, uh, it, it becomes propaganda, you know? So even if you agree with it, that sort of thing, it's the same with, uh, environmentalism or, you know, feminism or any other movie on the other side you know it's like if you aren't an artist making art then you're just a person trying to use an art form to uh, spread your message so it is what it is you know but uh they try <laughs> they try real hard and you you could just tell you know, there's a difference between in the in quality of acting and writing. You could tell there's a difference between these movies and movies about Christian themes made by actual artists. You know, whether it be uh, The Blind Side, you know, has sort of a faith thing going on. Or movies like Hexar Ridge or... Uh, Silence, you know, that movie about the Japanese missionaries. It's like, that's actual artists making art, and it happens to be about Christian themes. It's like, movies by these guys, it's just... We have a message, and we're going to use the art form. And by the way, we're also selling devotional materials to go along with it. And like in this movie, there's this resolution thing, and there's... A, you know, it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's disrespectful to the art form, but, but with this movie, it did genuinely make me laugh in a couple places. It did genuinely, it was, it, that's genuinely a heartfelt scene with the guy, you know, dancing by himself. Uh... You know, because, spoilers, this movie's really old, but <laughs> I won't talk 
talk about the last scene that they added to the movie. That, because that's that would actually maybe be a spoiler, but the the rest of this movie is really old. So they they have a kid that dies, and he's like, "Oh, why didn't I dance with her when I had a chance?" And he dances with her later. That's that's you know a sweet moment. So kudos for that. <sighs> I remember. It's like the emotional scenes are too rushed. There's not enough setup for a lot of this stuff with the characters. So, like, this is a problem I had with Fireproof. At the beginning of the movie, Kirk Cameron is flying off the handle for for no reason. And it's like, it doesn't even seem like, like, I, di I didn't understand why he was upset. And in this movie, you understand, like... the thing about his his uh, daughter dying that's that's real easy to understand but the the thing is like you don't really there's the whole thing about his son wants him to go running with him and he doesn't want to go run you know now i think in i don't want <laughs> in a better movie or whatever they would cuz they had this whole setup thing with the gang like they i think they should have had the son like get involved with that you know because of you know his relationship with his dad wasn't the best i think that would have it's kind of set up that way but it doesn't the whole gang thing happens with the the other character the kid that wants to date you know the guy's daughter the other guy's daughter that sort of thing but I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about these guys' movies. <laughs> it's like... I hate to break it to evangelical culture at large, but, you know, there wasn't a time... It's like, it's like the whole premise of these sorts of movies is like, if men acted more like men, then our country wouldn't be in the mess it's in. But here's the thing, the country's always been a mess, even when men were acting more stereotypical. <laughs> it's just about who the country it was good for, <laughs> you know? It's like, if we go back to the 50s when everything was great, it was, it was great for middle class white America. Everybody else, it was crap, <laughs> you know? And it wasn't because middle-class white Americans were the only ones being real fathers. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like the world, by and large, has always had lots and lots of problems. And it's, it's not going to save your country to have men act more like 50s stereotypes. You know? <laughs> it's like, if only things were more like Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah but anyway I generally don't like these movies although this one may be the, the best of their, their actual movies you know that documentary they just did the show me the father thing that was pretty good but apparently they didn't direct it they're just kind of involved with it and a big chunk of it is about one of them but and it's about their dad too so, yeah, but anyway, that's just my opinion, and my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? Uh, there's no reason to. We just do it as a culture, and we can't seem to stop, so I guess I'll just continue doing it also.